think if you I think if you stand about here, that's a good place to start. Okay. Well, will that yeah. capture? And don't call me Dad. Call me Rod. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Great. So, Rod, do you want to talk us through what you've been doing with this project? Uh, yes. Some new projects that we've got on. EV Power does a lot of different um, projects. Uh, we have lots of things come through our front door. One of them is this electric Polaris Ranger EV. Now, this is built from the ground up as a, um, a electric vehicle, but they come with lead acid batteries in it. So what uh, the company was finding, the company that owns it was finding, is that they kept going through lead acid batteries, so they commissioned us to put some lithium batteries in it. Great. So where are the batteries? Batteries are under the seat here. Come in and get a bit of a close up on the battery. So the seat just comes off like this. Jamie's made a cover to go over this, uh, a polycarbonate cover, but it's, it's not on there at the minute for the purposes of demonstration. So we've got four lithium batteries here. One, two, three, four, they're 300 amp hour batteries, and that's probably going to give it about double the range of what it had previously. And we've got our EV power battery management system here, and the, all the bits and pieces that go with it are here. So we've got the charge plug, so we can charge it up. We've got on off button for <laughs> switching the battery on off, and we've got a display that displays. The volt, voltage of the battery, the amp, amps draw, current amp hours used, and current state of charge percentage. And there's also a main isolator switch down here, which is used when you want to turn everything off. That, that's the main isolator switch, isolates the battery completely when you want to store it. So what are the differences between driving the vehicle like this with its retrofit versus how it was previously? Um, well, for starters, it's a lot lighter. It's um, probably about half the weight of batteries in there, mm -hmm. with about at least 50% more capacity. Um, there's, it's, uh, the lithium batteries work at a slightly higher voltage, so you notice the increase in top speed as well, mm -hmm. and increase in power. And obviously, because the whole vehicle is lighter, it, uh, its performance is better as well, going up hills. As we've discovered. Yeah. <laughs> this works the same. How long did the uh, change take? Uh, it took us quite a few hours because Jamie, if you have a look in here, Jamie actually had to make. If you look over here, it's probably best. You can see that. That's actually polycarbonate sheet there, all, all the way around the battery pack. What he did. One of the problems that, that the, the Ranger EVs seem to have is that their batteries are continually getting dirty. Mm -hmm. So uh, you can see we've taken it for one driver and it's dirty on the outside yeah. of the polycarbonate. So this is all dust that would be going over the batteries. Um, mm -hmm. And I think that's one of the reasons why on the Ranger EVs the, um, the lead acid batteries die fairly quickly. So what he did is he took the whole lot out, it was all rusty. I'll show you some pictures in the video. Um, we put a marine ply base in there and he actually made a transmission tunnel cover there out of aluminium. It's probably hard to see down there but there's actually a, a complete transmission. So what we've got here is a hermetically sealed box more or less um, and we've given it a really good run. The, the, the controller here for the permanent magnet motor is, is here. If you, if you <laughs> get the video right over you can see that's, yeah. that's the um, heat sink for the controller. Uh, we took it for a good run yesterday, um, and it was a really hot day, and we mm -hmm. had six people on it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we were driving over rough terrain, and it got hot, but um, it's still quite okay yeah. in this in this sealed box. So, so EV Power's done quite a cost and solution, as opposed to just replacing the batteries. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. right. Yeah. It's a customised solution for this particular job mm -hmm. because it's working in a marine environment, so it's very um, 
a salty air and lots of sand, beach sand. We took, we had a pile like this of you know, beach sand that <laughs> just out of it. And it was all rusty underneath, so we cut the rust out of the bottom of the battery boxes and um, got it all fixed up. Looks like lots of fun. <laughs> yeah, Maestro Jamie, Master Fabricator, made this um, cover that fits on top of the battery pack. It's actually, one of, one of the problems with the Ranger EV, another one of the issues we found, I hope you're not watching, but um, is if this gets wet here, uh, if that gets wet in there, all the water runs off there down the there into the batteries i mean that's that's nuts you know <laughs> of course it's going to get wet the first time you drive it in the rain that tray is going to fill up with water you stop and all the water is going to flood down here so jamie's made this cover that actually slots up underneath so at least the water runs off and we've got rubber seals around it so at least the water is not going to it might pull on there but it's not going to run all over the batteries so that creates like a sealed box and the seat just sits on top there. Nice. So we've got the charge plug here, but what's actually happening uh, when you do a full charging? So it's, it, the vehicle has a charger in the front here. So obviously charges off the mains power, 240 volt mains. Um, and it did have an original charger for the lead batteries there that we had to replace because lithium batteries need um, a lithium charger, basically, at least these, these batteries need a lithium charger. So that's an EV power charger there. That's a um, one and a half kilowatt charger. So it'll charge off any any mains plug, and that goes straight in the battery. Could you use a fast charger for it? Could you plug it into a higher? You oh, could if you went directly into the battery, you know, mm -hmm. if you had a, a bigger DC charger, but you'd have to have a special charge plug for it. Mm -hmm. But um, otherwise, yeah, everything is standard. That's what I had before was the plug, so we just mm -hmm. replaced it like with like. But we have had to replace the charger because we need some proper charger to keep the batteries fully charged and balanced. Mm -hmm. And where's the motor sitting then? Well, the motor's under the back. That's the, that's the motor up there. That's a permanent magnet AC motor. And so that didn't need any adjustment? No, no, no. That's quite good, that motor. It's quite powerful. Mm -hmm. This this thing will go anywhere. You know, we've, we've tried it yesterday. It'll go up hills that ordinary, yeah, ordinary four-wheel drive struggle on. All right, so now, Leela, this is for the test drive. Every project needs thorough testing. And what better way to do it than to set it loose on the sand with us? That's We've it. We've got a nice bulky patch up there. Uh -huh. <laughs> a true test. Uh -huh. Okay, go for it.